I took a drive to the store to get some parts and sort out Cyclone's wheel for him. We headed back and got his El Camino delivered. Disaster struck as we blew the engine of our shop truck on the way back. Hugo helped us get back to the shop so we could finish our customer's car from the last episode, but it was getting dark already. Hello everybody and welcome back to My Garage Revivals. Alright, so yeah, Hugo was kind enough to borrow his El Camino to us. So yeah, that is pretty much uh, what we are driving over here. So this is uh, very similar to Cyclone's El Camino, which we have worked on in the previous episode. But it's a little bit different and you'll probably only see once we get out of it. So yeah, we've got a little bit of news with regards to our shop truck over here. So yesterday the engine blew and yeah, we had to uh, pretty much have it towed back to the shop with the trailer. So that is pretty much all back at the shop here. So yeah, we did leave our lights on because it was still dark this morning when I left to go and fetch the uh, El Camino over here. But yeah, Hugo was also kind enough to give me this engine uh, pretty much free of charge. So this is a very used engine, as he would call it. So yeah, we will be pretty much figuring this out to see if we can get this engine up and running for our shop truck. So what I have done is pretty much bought a bunch of new parts from the store in town. Well, not really in town, but yeah, on the other island, on the small island. So we will be doing a little bit of a service on this engine. So I've bought pretty much most of the stuff that is necessary to get this engine up and running reliably. So yeah, that is pretty much what I'm going to do in this episode is sort out our shop truck again so that we can get it up and running. But then again, I also decided to buy myself a secondary vehicle, which I will be able to drive around if we ever have any issues with it. So also what I managed to get before the truck broke down was this little spoiler for our Firebird, which has actually got some double-sided tape. It just uh, pretty much sticks on. So let's just get it lined up over here and then just like that. So yeah, this car is pretty much ready to go to paint. So we also got the wheels and tires for this yesterday before the shop truck packed up, obviously. So these will pretty much go on the Firebird once it comes back from paint. So I think that'll actually suit the car much better. Uh, we might have to get some wheel spaces. Uh, we do have one that actually came off of our shop truck when we got it at first. So we'll test and see if that is going to do the trick for us over here. So we'll see once we get to mounting these wheels. But yes, uh, so pretty much my plan for today is to try and get our shop truck up and running again, at least. And then we will be towing it over to the paint shop, the uh, Firebird that is, after we returned Hugo's El Camino and also picked up my secondary vehicle, which I bought. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you guys just yet what it is exactly, but yeah, I guess you will see it once we go and pick it up a little bit later on in the episode. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start by tackling this engine and pretty much just ripping it apart and giving it a little bit of a service. So there's going to be a bunch of parts that are still usable, but we are going to replace some of them. So yeah, that is pretty much what's going to happen. So yeah, I think let me first get into the teardown of this thing so that we can pretty much see what we are working with. All right, so we've got a good air filter housing over here. We'll probably keep the, the good parts on the table for now. All right, let's uh, continue with our cooling fan over here. This is a part we're going to have to reuse. So even though it is a quite used, we will still try and get some life out of it. All right, let's take off this uh, alternator belt, which actually looks very good. So we'll reuse that as well. And then the alternator can come off. Let's see if we can. Oops, I hope it didn't break now. All right, but there we go. We've got an alternator that we can reuse. Uh, we are going to be replacing the fuel pump. Although this one should still have some life in it. We'll see uh, pretty much where we are going to need that one day. 
All right, so now we're going to take off the water pump over here. So this is obviously a part we are going to reuse. And yeah, we can just pretty much check the condition more or less. So it's it's still in fair condition. I would say that's going to last quite a while. Let's check this little pulley over here. So I want to remove the pulley because we will be painting some of these parts. Uh, pretty much all of the parts by the looks of it. So yeah, there's a, a couple of cans of spray paint in black in the back of the El Camino. So we do have a second harmonic balancer from the old engine. Yeah, I think the one that we just took off looks a little bit better, although it's, uh, yeah, it needs a little bit of a paint. All right, let's continue with our timing cover over here. We're going to pretty much rip this off as well and just see what is lurking below. All right. So it looks like we are going to be dropping all of the parts today. But that still looks fairly decent. All right, let's get our timing chain off quickly. Let's see that. That's, yeah, it's still fine. Doesn't look too bad. All right, so I just hope the camshaft in this engine is going to be okay. All right, so this uh, camshaft sprocket still looks fine. So let's grab our pry tool quickly. Let's get our camshaft out of here. All right, let's see what this is all about. Yeah, this looks like a performance camshaft. Still looks decent, so we'll just reuse that. All right, and the crankshaft sprocket over here. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, so that can be reused as well. All right, next up we've got our pretty much our carburetor over here. Which I don't think we really should remove, but I do just want to see the condition of this. Alright, let's uh, look at it quickly. Yeah, I don't think it's going to last very long, but yeah, we can always uh, probably replace it if we have to further down the line. Alright, so let me get these rocker covers off or the valve covers, because we are going to be replacing the cylinder heads on this. I uh, just think it's going to be worthwhile, but we are going to be reusing the rockers. So there's a AMG sticker on this valve cover. So somebody definitely had a sense of humor when they uh, put that sticker on this uh, engine or on the valve cover. All right, let's see if we can grab the rockers. Right, so these rockers are going to be reused. They are not the best condition still, but... They are still usable, and it looks like these are 1.5 ratio rockers by the looks of it. All right, so I just hope we've got a matching set of rockers in this engine. So I guess we'll find out once we take this side off. All right, and now we can just let it pop off. All right, that is a definitely a throwaway part. We're going to be chucking that. All right, let's get this uh, rocker on this side removed as well. Okay, so we're also going to reuse this rocker. Or these rockers. All right, so at least we've got a matching set of 1.5 ratio rockers, so that is going to work very well. All right, so up next, um, I don't think I'm going to bother removing the... Uh, actual headers on these heads so those can pretty much stay but we would definitely want to take off the uh, distributor over here we are going to have to reuse this along with the plug leads or the yeah spark wires whatever you would like to call them All right so we'll definitely have to reuse that uh, as for our intake manifold let's just get this unbolted as well so we are going to just check the condition of this. And I think everything should be fairly decent. I also want to paint the engine block. So yeah, this is going to pretty much come apart all the way. All right, and the oil pan. Let's just get this removed. I did check the engine for oil. There is nothing inside, so it's pretty much drained. So we do have a new oil pan at least. So this one is still 
sort of feasible to use but yeah we'll uh just pop it on the shelf uh let's actually mount it to the bottom of this engine for now it's actually a nice matching orange color so let's just get that put back there all right so i think i'm not gonna bother with the spark plugs because we've got brand new spark plugs and also we've got a new uh, ignition coil so this is also just gonna pretty much go on the shelf so that should still be working but we'll rather just replace it so yeah uh, i just wanted to double check yeah we've got our spark plugs back here okay that is good so we can go ahead and remove these heads with the actual headers attached so yeah i think we should hopefully get a quite a reliable engine bolt today for our shop truck just see there's a bolt behind here and i believe that is pretty much that all right so these heads we are going to keep around as well so just make a space for them over here on the shelf let's just move this out of the way a little bit all right let's grab that so these bolts uh, didn't secure the head gasket for some reason so we'll just uh, chuck that on the shelf as well because it's not really broken yet it's it's been used but it's not broken all right and then yeah the cylinder head can just pretty much join the other one on the shelf over here because we've got two brand new performance cylinder heads going on our engine so yeah i think that is pretty much everything we just need to take this uh crush the old oil filter off here you can remove this by hand just set it over here on the scrap pile all right let's just grab our wrench because i want to see what the situation is with the pressure plate and all that over here because i just uh, bought a new clutch plate i didn't buy a whole pressure plate because obviously we are trying to do this on a bit of a budget we don't want to spend all of our money just on getting our shop truck running again so i think yeah that'll just have to do for now and oh there's the uh clutch plate which we are also going to replace we do have the other one from the other engine as well which is very similar in the same condition so we'll just get pretty much the new one installed all right and then let's get this flywheel removed just get to that last bolt over there and take it off all right so the flywheel still looks decent so that is pretty good all right so now let's just go through our pistons and see which ones are good and what if there are any bad ones we'll hopefully have enough to replace them with so grab the toolbox and just put it down on the floor for now so that we've got some space for our pistons so we'll put our pistons on the table over there and we'll just see which ones are going to be the best to install back into the engine so this one let's have a look at it yeah, it doesn't look too bad we could use that one again let's get this one out let's have a look at it yeah that's quite worn still should work if we have to use it all right and this one yeah that's also quite worn all right well let's move over to the other side's pistons over here let's get this out all right so there's the first one from the opposite side that's yeah not too bad as i said we we've got some extra pistons laying around so we'll see which ones are the best All right, this one looks fairly decent as well not too bad all right we've got two more to go all right let's see this one yeah quite decent not too bad and then the last one let's hope this one is also at least usable yeah not too bad not too bad at all all right now last but not least we're going to remove our crankshaft over here and we're just going to inspect it and see if we are going to be 
swapping it out with the other one we have. All right, let's uh, let's just have a look over here. We've got this one, and then we do have this one. So the one we got out of our old engine actually looks a little bit better than that one. So we'll pop this one on the shelf and then, yeah, we'll uh, pretty much put this one back in our engine once we start assembling it. And we'll also go through all of the other parts. So what I'm going to do now is pretty much take all the parts over to the sunshine over there. And we are going to give them a little bit of a clean and also a lick of paint maybe. And then we are going to see if we can pretty much put this engine back together. Okay, I just need to unbolt the engine block from the stand again. All right, let's just uh, grab this. All right, and we are going to set this down over here. I'm going to pretty much just wash it off a bit and see if I can get it dried up again. And then we're going to pretty much put some paint on it. All right, let's drop our wrench back in the toolbox and then... Yeah, let me pretty much just carry these parts over to the sun. All right, there we go. I think that is good enough. So, yeah, we painted all of the parts in black. And now we're just going to leave it out here in the sun for a bit to dry. It's actually a quick drying paint. So we should be able to put this thing back together very soon. So, yeah, obviously we are now going to have to remove the old engine from our truck over here. So this is actually very interesting. This engine doesn't have bolts for all the cables. Because uh, we are going to be replacing the cables in this truck as well. So there's a, a bolt on the starter. And the alternator one pretty much just clips on. As well as the ground cable also just clips on. And then we've got pretty much all the bolts on the transmission. Which we are going to loosen. But first of all I'm just going to remove the exhausts so that those aren't going to be in the way when we actually pull this engine out of the car or the truck rather all right so let's uh get down here for the other muffler on this side okay let's just uh, put this out of the way as well i think it should be fine over there okay so yeah let's continue taking this engine out so we've got pretty much three bolts on each side of the transmission and then we've got a bolt on the mount over there and we've got a bolt on the mount over here which pretty much should let this engine pop out so yeah there we go let's just lift it out all right and it's quite a heavy one all right so there we go so this is a actual chevy engine that was installed in our ford I don't know how that worked out, but yes, we've got a Chevy engine that is a little bit blown at the moment. So I don't know what is wrong with this engine just yet. So we will be pretty much servicing this engine at the latest stage in the, steer in the series. Well, when you've got a little bit of a chance and also a little bit more money. Because the parts for this engine is a little bit expensive at the moment. So we will probably service that when we have got a Chevy to put it in. Maybe like a 69 Chevelle, we can drop it in a Chevelle, or maybe even an Impala if we get an Impala at some point. Probably really have to take out the transmission, because obviously this one is looking a little bit sad. So we will also remove our battery, uh, just for safety. Alright, so let's uh, just take it out. All right, then we shall remove the cables because we are going to be replacing these cables. So let me just grab these old ones. We'll put these over on our scrap pile over there. All right, and then what I'm going to do is pretty much just lift the truck up and see if we can get the transmission out. All right, there we go. So, yeah, we've got pretty much some bolts on the transmission itself uh, right over there let's just uh, reach up a little bit all right and well that is pretty much our transmission out of the truck 
All right, so yeah, this is a uh, pretty much scrap at this point. So we'll be getting rid of all these parts uh, a little bit later on. Okay, but yeah, I think that is pretty much everything we need to strip out. So what we can do now is pretty much mount on new transmission. So this is a, yeah, it's the same uh, amount of gears. It's also a five speed, but it's a little bit of a different design to the Chevy one that we just took out of the shop truck. So we'll be mounting this one now. And I think that should, yeah, pretty much uh, work a little bit better with the engine we are putting in. So let's just uh, get those bolts tightened up over here again. Just like that. All right. And I think we are pretty much ready to start assembling our engine. Let me just check on the, the paint over here. Yeah, it seems to be dry enough, so... Yeah, we can continue and start putting this thing back together so let's just get our block mounted again and zipper down and then we've got our donor trans uh crankshaft not transmission donor crankshaft which can go in and then i'm gonna pretty much pick the best pistons to go into this engine so the ones we took out of our rusty old engine uh pretty much the engine down there so some of these are actually in bad condition and some of them are actually in very good condition like this one. This one is basically new so we'll get this one installed. And then let's just check the other better ones over here. We've got a good one over there. We've got a very good one over there. This one is not so good. And that one is also not so good. This one is fair. This one is pretty good. That one isn't too bad. And this one isn't too bad either. So we'll just see. I think those ones are so far the better ones. So we've got four. So we've got a fifth one in the engine. So we pretty much need three more. We've got this one, which looks fairly good as well. So we're going to pretty much pop this one in. All right, and I think the other one on the shelf here at the back looks good. These ones are a little bit worn. So we'll grab this one and pop this in. So that is pretty much three out of eight. And then we'll grab this one. Just pop this in over there. And then we'll grab this one. Okay, and we need this one, alright, let's grab another one that is looking fairly decent, this one, yeah, that one should do the job, and then we are just going to look for the best one out of these, which I think is probably this one, so yeah, let's grab this one and just pop it in over there. All right, so we've got pretty much all the pistons in the engine now. So that should work very well. Okay, so up next we are going to grab our oil pan over here. So we can sort out the bottom half of our engine pretty much. All right, let's get this bolted down. All right, very good. That is looking very decent. All right, so the paint on that was a little bit sticky. So we did leave some finger marks on it, but that's okay. All right, let's uh, pop our flywheel in. All right, and then, yeah, we've got a new clutch plate. So this is going to be a lot of walking up and down, getting the various parts from the truck bed over here. But it's okay, we are just pretty much doing it once and then it's going to be done for a while hopefully the next time we build an engine we will have a, a little bit more space and maybe even a, a little bit of a table uh, for us to work on with new parts as well all right so there we go we've got pretty much all these bolts tightened down 
And I think that is our flywheel sorted. So we should be able to continue with our cylinder heads. So let's grab our head gaskets. So there's our first one. Let's pop that on. All right, let's grab the other one. Okay, let's get this installed on this side. And then yeah, I think it's time for the cylinder heads. We'll uh, pretty much get these bad boys installed. So these are, in fact, performance cylinder heads. So it's just going to give us a little bit more power for towing purposes. So yeah, I thought I thought that uh, we should rather just upgrade it a little bit while we are busy servicing it now. Although we might lose a little bit of power because we are using second-hand parts on this engine, but that is fine. Alright, let me go get the other cylinder head quickly. Alright, so this one will go on the opposite side. Just get this bolted down. Alright, let's just rotate the engine a little bit. And there we go. Alright, let's grab those rockers. There we go. Alright. And that is pretty much our rockers sorted. Alright, let's go grab the uh, intake manifold. I hope this isn't going to be sticky still. Yeah, it feels pretty decent. All right, let's pop this on and get it bolted down. All right, I can't really see those bolts. Let's just turn it like this. All right, there we go. All right, fairly decent. So the only thing I didn't check was the thermostat housing, but it still looks decent. All right, so next up, we are going to put our carburetor on. Let's just bolt that down. All right, and then, yeah, I think next up will be our valve covers. Let's grab these. We've got two brand new ones over here. Uh, I'm not really sure which one goes which side. I think this one goes on here. There we go. All right, that is looking fairly decent. All right, let's grab this one. All right, and now I think it's time for me to start using my backpack to bring these things a bit closer. So let's just chuck that in, that in, the fuel hose or fuel pump, that we can also grab these and then I'll grab the wires as well. Oh, let me just close here. All right. And let's grab the wires. So we'll just put the wires on the table for now. All right. And then we can obviously lower the truck down again. All right. Let's just put these things on the table now. We've got our oil filter. There's our spark plugs. We've got our brand new fuel line. A fuel pump that is the new one so we'll get the old one out of the way because we don't want to install the old one on accident all right and then there goes our ignition coil we've got our air filter assembly which we'll have to take apart and let's get these manifolds installed next i think this one goes on this side let's just bolt that down Alright, and then we're going to just grab the other one from our backpack here and just put that back. Alright, let's uh, bolt this one down as well. Alright, perfect. Let's uh, quickly do this air cleaner. Just uh, take it apart. Alright, like that. Let's get our filter on. And let's grab the lid and tighten it down there we go all right so we are going to reuse the old distributor obviously it's the only one we have at the moment 
And then we will grab our new ignition coil. That'll go over here. Just like that. And then up next, we're going to start pretty much with our camshaft. Just going to pop it in there. Let's get our sprockets installed. All right, perfect. And then our timing chain. All right, let's go and grab our timing cover and pretty much the water pump. Oh, let's actually just mount the water pump beforehand. It's going to be a little bit easier if we do it like this. I think there's a the last bolt. There we go. All right, so this can pretty much go back on. And then we can do the harmonic balancer and all those timing parts at the front here. All right, there. And this one, and there's a bolt. Uh, just see where it is. Uh, there we go. Zip that down as well. All right, let's grab our alternator. Uh, over there. Perfect. And then let's grab this. Uh, yeah. We need to put this on the harmonic balancer over there. So let's just take it over here. I'll pop it on here and just bolt it down. And then, yeah, I mustn't forget these spray cans out here in the sun. That isn't very safe. All right, let's just put this on like that. And let's grab our alternator belt and our cooling fan. And there we have it. All right. So up next is just the oil pump, uh, fuel pump, not a oil pump, fuel pump. And then it's a oil filter, which we will grab over here and just tighten it by hand like that. All right. So I think that is pretty much everything. So now we just need to put our spark plugs in. All right. There's one box. Let's just get these out of the box. All right, so we are going to need our socket wrench over here. Let's just uh, put this down on the table here for now. And we'll put these in one by one. And we'll zip them all down all together. All right, and the next one. All right, and the next one. All right, let's quickly zip these down. Right, I think let's uh, do it like this, because these things are on the table now. We'll just uh, turn the engine around. All right, there we go. We've got three, and the fourth one, the last one for the side. Just like that, and let's zip them down. All right, let's uh, actually put this back in the toolbox. Alrighty, oh, now we should be ready to pretty much put our engine back in the truck. Uh, let's just quickly slap these on. Alright, there we go. Let's get this off of the stand. There we have it. Alright, now oh, this truck is still a bit l uh, lifted up. There we go. All right, let's just go down with this thing. All right, that is looking better. All right. And to bolt it down. Okay, so we've got our alternator over there, which is going to need a wire. So let's just get our wiring put back in. All right, so let's bolt that down and over here we don't have a bolt that is also just the cable slides over the lug over there and then we will grab our fuel line uh, which yeah i think it goes over here all right let's just bolt that down all right over on this side we'll bolt it down there and then tighten up the transmission and then I think uh, it's just a matter of putting some coolant into this thing uh, after our exhausts. So let's grab the exhausts first. 
We're going to be able to get it up under here. All right. That's a little bit of a guessing game, but we've got them. All right. Let's grab the next one here. Just like that. All right. We're just getting stuck on the lift, but... All right. Here we are. So let's uh, see where these bolts are. Right? There's one and there's one. All right. That is looking very good. Last but not least, let's put our battery back in. All right, and there we go. Perfect. Great stuff. All right, so what I think I'm going to do quickly is just um, neaten up over here, and then we're going to get our coolant and our oil topped off, which we've got new oil already and some new coolant. So that is going to go in the engine. And then I think we should be ready to see if this thing is going to fire up. Uh, let's just grab these and chuck them over here into our dustbin. All right, so let me do this quick. And then I'll bring you guys back once all this is sorted out. All righty, so there we've got it. Our oil is up to level and so is the coolant. So I think we are about ready to see if this thing is going to fire up now. We might have to push it slightly i did have the e-brake off already so we can get in over here come on engine get out of the way all right perfect let's see if uh, she's gonna fire up i've got my faith in this old gal all right let's see what she does not too bad i actually think it sounds a little bit quieter it's definitely much more yeah, less disturbing on the ears. Alright, I think it's time for a little bit of a test drive. And we are pretty much going to just um, load up the Firebird on our trailer and see how this thing is going to tow now. Alright, let's get our pickup lined up here for the trailer. Just switch it off for now. I'm sure it'll fire up again. All right, let's uh, just see if there's any oil leaks or anything. Uh, looks fairly decent. All right. Well, let's grab our trailer over here. Because obviously we have to do this before 5 o'clock. When the uh, service center closes, although I never really asked Richard what time they close, so I don't really know, but yeah, we can pretty much go over there still at this time. It's a safe time for us to head over there. Uh, I think I did take the keys out of Hugo's truck. Yes, I did. Okay, so yeah, we are just pretty much going to load our Firebird up on the trailer and we're going to deliver it. And then when we get back, we're going to see what the time is. Maybe we can make it in time for Hugo's truck as well because we've got a vehicle at the used dealership we need to pick up uh, so yeah if we don't get to that we don't get to that all right so let's just pull up over here give ourselves some nice space to work getting our firebird up on the trailer all right let me lift this up Right, and then we are going to jump in and we can actually drive our firebird because I did manage to get a gear shifter for this as well so yeah that is gonna work very well all right let's fire it up let's get it lower down Oop, uh, let me jump in here all right, I think that is going to stay there. All right, it's a little bit late in the afternoon already, so let's get going. And we'll take this over to the body shop so that they can sort it out. All right, and here we go.
Alright, so our Firebird is over here at the paint shop and we are just going to quickly pull it inside and pretty much get it into position for them so that they can start working on it for us. So yeah, Richard actually mentioned something about a barn that his nephew used to own and he said his nephew left a couple of parts in there. So he asked me if I'll be interested in buying it. Uh, yeah, this is a... Yeah, a little bit tight getting up there with a lowered car like this, but we don't have the right wheel sizes uh, all around yet. So yeah, getting back to that barn, he asked me if I'll be interested to have a look at what's inside and then maybe make him an offer on it. So that is going to be interesting, but I think that is something we'll do on another episode. And yes, I think that is also all that we are going to have time for for this episode. So I think we are going to wrap it up right over here. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate every view, every like. And also I wanted to ask if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I will appreciate it very much. But yes, until the next time, cheerio!